and that's where uh, you can uh, make comparisons. For instance, you have uh, very well known are the parabolic uh, mirrors. Uh, they have a point focus, so the solar rays uh, end up in a single point if it's a, it's a, if it's a parabolic dish mirror. Uh, you can also have parabolic trough mirrors where the, the, the focus ends up in a line. Uh, they are uh, efficient because they they bring that single point of focus to a very high temperature, and the temperature difference is is important for determining uh, the efficiency of of a, of a collector. The the amount of energy that's available for collection by the dish is only determined by the radius of the dish. Uh, the radius of the dish, and of course, there's another. Uh, let's say there are more or less loss factors that you have to take into account when you uh, look at a at a, a solar uh, uh, collector. Loss in radi uh, in reflectance of the mirror, loss in the collector, loss in uh, anyway. There's always heat loss, energy loss everywhere. Uh, but these uh, parabolic mirrors are, are uh, efficient in that way, but they require usually heavy tracking. Uh, they, they, and I mean heavy tracking in the sense that the whole mirror needs to follow the, or the, the sun. So you need engines on the, on the mirror itself. And that of course puts a limit on the size of the mirror. You, have, uh, you can see uh, uh, some uh, big uh, mirrors there. Of course they used to be made parabolic uh, mirrors for uh, radiation uh, study for uh, cosmology and I don't know how you call that astrology so there is experience with that type of technology but it's m it's massively uh, expensive if you look at uh, uh, the yield and uh, an alternative to, uh, to to the parabolic dish mirror is a spherical mir mirror which is uh, simply uh, uh, like a light bulb a round shape and it also catches uh, sunlight and the, the, the sunlight it catches is again only determined by uh, the radius of the of the aperture to which the light uh, comes uh, it creates a line focus um, uh, at a very specific location in the bowl dependent on the position of the sun because these dish uh, mirrors uh, are fixed they have good efficiency uh, but they are very light tracking there is a tracking element in it, of course the receptor, the collector where you want to uh, want that light to, uh, uh, to uh, make uh, uh, fluid warm or uh, boil uh, water and turn it into steam, that collector has to move around in the dish. But that's a light metal thing uh, compared to the whole dish uh, moving. And because of that uh, there is no, really no size limit on these type of uh, solar, uh, uh, solar mirrors collectors. You could have one the size of, uh, of uh, well, the size of the US. Or like the hole in the, in the Death Star in, uh, in Star Wars. That could be a very good spherical uh, collector. There are dishes, uh, or the, 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 two, uh, the two important uh, examples of this technology being implemented are so big that you can walk on the mirror surface. And, uh, and they collected a lot of energy. Anyway, with these uh, uh, spherical mirrors you have uh, one challenge you have you have several challenges of course but they're uh, almost equal to uh, to the ones with the parabolic dish mirrors you have a challenge with the inclination because uh, it has to face these uh, sun rays that come in parallel from the sun uh, at a right angle and that means that uh, if you go back to uh, the picture we had before with the 45 degrees uh, inclination in France that in France this mirror would have to be in an inclination of 45 degrees while in the equator it would be flat on the ground or it would be a hole in the ground basically but that's not very expensive compared to uh, the parabolic dish uh, support system that it needs uh, and it's very easy to uh, to build. You build a mountain of, uh, of of sand or dirt or cement, and you uh, and you can construct construct 99% of the mirror, except the mirror surface itself. That's a special story. But that makes it low cost, and uh, simple labor can do the work. Uh, and of course, there's plenty of know-how in the building uh, uh, industry of making a thing like this. So that's uh, that's just uh, the f one of the fundamentals of, of, of the, uh, the building uh, CSP uh, uh, group package uh, of information about this type of mirror that you can uh, that you can buy of course if you like this you can go to uh, buildingcsp.ning.com 
uh, on the internet. And uh, another website related to it is climatebabes.com where you will find uh, some proprietary information that we don't want to share uh, in Ning and perhaps a webshop in the future for components and other useful uh, stuff related to this.